。そういうこと。<笑>すげえ。めっちゃ活かしてるやん。<笑>長いね。ええー。ハーフです。Looking like a foreigner here in Japan, there's certain things that you just get used to, like Having an empty seat next to you on a crowded commuter train. Occasionally having your hair touched or not being able to get into a restaurant. We tried to get into a yakitori chicken, yeah, like a skewered chicken restaurant. And we opened the door and went, oh, I'm going to chill. And he went, I don't come in. Well, that's one thing being a guest in this country, but what about those who look foreign that are actually Japanese? The first reaction is, oh my god, you're so good at speaking Japanese. I still to this day, every time at my job, I'll be like, you know, they're trying to speak English. Very good, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so, to delve more into this topic, I'm going across the country to talk to two very different people who, despite having Japanese citizenship and Japanese blood, don't exactly look the part. And that makes life a little bit different here. Hi, my name's a l i a h I'm 24 and I'm half Japanese and black. My mom is Japanese and my dad is black. I was born in Okinawa and I grew up here my whole life in Aomori. So, as a half Japanese person or mixed person, do you feel like you're accepted in Japan as a As Japanese?、Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Not, no. Not as Japanese. It's more like I'm accepted as what I look like, which is American. So even though I feel like I'm Japanese, they don't, you know, it's hard to grasp. Does that kind of bother you, not being fully accepted into the country you were born into and live in? It bothers me a lot. So I thought the answer was to go to the States. Um, because I'll fit in more.、Mm-hmm. And then I went, and when I went, they're like, oh, you're so Asian, you know, you're mixed, you look more different, are you Filipino? Da, da, da. I'm like, okay, so I, I see where I stand. I just don't fit in nowhere, I'm just my own thing. アメリカはうんとたまに黒人っていう扱いもあるしたまに、うん、あの日本人っていう扱いの時だけもあるし、うん、特別もまあまあ意味わかんないけど、うん、あっちでやっぱりあの一回ねすごいドン引きしたんだけど。ショッピングしてた間にねねちょっと聞きたいんだけどって言われて、うん、あの「犬食うでしょ」って「えちょっと待って」って「ちょっと待ってちょっとあなた違う,違うんでしょそこは言わないでしょ」って思ってあのその後に一回だけ聞くと思ったら何回も,もう本気で突っ込んできてそうなんですか本当だと思ってっあっちはメキシカンの人で私もびっくりして。いやほん本当に思ってると思って答えて、うん、いや違うんだけどって
そんなのに「え本当に?」って「じゃあやっぱ寿司か」って「ああはい」って受け流すしかない感じうんきつかった気まずいその後も<笑>帰りの運転超気まずい思ったよりアジア人に向けての反対が強いあそうなんですか、うん、カリフォルニア州にカリアフもいっぱいいるいるいるえっ、ー、とまさかっていう人たちもいるしなんかこうみんなどっちかっていえばあの受け入れる人も多いけどその中のちょっとの人たちがねやっぱりガッていう人が多いしあ,のあっち突っ込むのがすごいもう堂々とやるじゃん、うん、関係なく堂々とやるからその堂々とやられるとどうしようもできないし、うん、何回かアジア人として反対された。Hi, my name is Takeshi. I'm half Japanese, half Kenyan. How do you think mixed people are treated here in Japan? I'd say kind of more or less like a rare Pokemon. <laughs> This little kid was looking at you like. He's pointing at you. He's like. Nickelodeon? Probably not. He probably doesn't know Nickelodeon.、Oh, he's probably like, look at this dude's crazy hair. <laughs> yeah, like, I come in peace. Yeah, I know, right? Usually, when I, when I introduce myself,、uh, I say my name and they're just immediately g e t thrown into another world. Because <laughs> you have a Japanese name. Yeah, yeah. So, on paper, I'm exactly as Japanese as any other Japanese person until they see me and then they're just like, wait, what? I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's like, I don't know if you're lying. That's not your name. That's not your name. That can't be your name. And I'm like, why would I lie about it? That's such a weird thing to lie about. When I tell people I'm Japanese, a lot of time, like, your Japanese blood is thin? Like, you don't have blood? No, because I don't look Japanese. And I'm like, Well, I'm exactly 50%, so I don't know what to tell you. Ah, ah, really? Chugo and Nihon no half? Ah, so now this guy. 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 最近どうですかすげーでしょ最近怎么样すげーやめー<笑><笑>中国と日本のハーフだから、はい、あの学校に通った時あの小学校とか中学校とか何か違和感を感じましたかあー確かにでも結構なんだろう中国語喋れるみたいなあー喋れないからちょっと申し訳ないなみたいなよくありましたよねあそうなんだ、はいうんなんかあのハーフだから差別人種差別とか受けたこと、はい、喋ったことありますかなかったですうん、はい、多分日本人に見えるから、まあね、ハーフか知らないからねもイケメンのジャパニーズしかない<笑><笑>あまあ大人になってからも一番長いかもしれないから、うんまあ、そういう子供の頃は、はいまあ、じいちゃんばあちゃんの家に遊びに行ってあんまりそういうのはなかったんだけどあまあでもやっぱり他の日本育ちの俺みたいに黒人と日本人ハーフの人は結構いろいろなんかや,れやられたとかっていうの話は多いよね。That's interesting though that he's half too, but half in a different way and he Blends in completely in yeah, Japan. I mean, he doesn't have the like, same problem. He's、problems. like an ultra Asian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, people wouldn't know.、Yeah. They wouldn't even know he's mixed unless you ask him. Hey, thank you very much. Have you had any negative experiences here in Japan because you look foreign? So I was with another friend of mine,、uh, an American guy, a、uh, black guy with, with dreads. He had invited me to go to Dopongi to,、uh, to a party. And I was like, okay, so we went. And we got off the train and went across the street. And he's like, hold on, let me make a phone call. So I was just standing there next to him, waiting for him to finish his phone call. And then we get swarmed by cops.、Ooh. And I, my friend was like really getting upset. And they were like, why are you getting so upset? We just want to ask you a few questions. We want to check your bag. And 
he's like yelling at him and saying like, no, this is racial profiling, da 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 da. And I was being really cooperative because I was like, ah, whatever, like do what you got to do. Um, and uh, but because of like my friend was combating, they they brought like you know five more cops and they were just literally like surrounded by police and and that yeah that turned into a whole fiasco. Why did they stop you in the first place? If you don't look like a like your clean cut salary man, then you're gonna get pulled over. The like cookie cutter like suits, and briefcase looking guy, and then yeah yeah you're gonna get stopped. It's, especially if you're like outside of Tokyo. So you like Japanese food more than you like American food. Yes. And if you enjoy Japanese food as well, we got the perfect thing for you. Tokyo Treat. You can have a monthly box sent anywhere in the world over to you. This one is their best box yet. You gotta get this one. It's the Sakura one. Every year they have a Sakura box and it comes with up to 20 limited edition only found in Japan snacks. This time we have matcha latte. Mmm, Hakata ramen, cider, sakura flavored kastera. Gummy. Oh, gummy. We got the gummies. Gummy. I like the salty snacks the best. Mm. These are great, not just for you, but to give to your friends. My mom bought a whole year's supply of this. It's delicious. Uh -huh. And if you're ever not exactly sure about what you're eating, you can check this book. It's got all the ingredients written in there. So you can see exactly what Japanese people do. Picnic for Ohanami season and read about it in this book. And if you want your own box, go into the video description and use the code PEARL for $5 off your first order of Tokyo Treat. But if you're less into the pop snacks and you want more of a traditional, refined, crafted Japanese snack, we also have Sakura Ko. And it's also the Sakura season box, which you have to get because this only comes once a year. We have sweet Sakura tea chips, pink Sakura plate. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like something? You know, it's not like overwhelmingly sweet. Mm. So Japanese oh. snacks tend to be a little less sweet than American because some are obnoxiously sweet in America. So oh. this is just right. Uh. But don't eat in the car. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I only had one, I swear. Thanks for your help. I got the I want. You get this whole box. Yay. I love these. These are my favorite. Oh, honey. oh my god. I saw in some of the photos that there were, there was at least one other person in your class that looked to be mixed. Mm -hmm. So you weren't the only one the whole time? Mm -mm. That's the only reason why I went to the school because I went to elementary school with her, but she was white and Japanese. Mm -hmm. And I'm black and Japanese, so I was like, at least I have somebody that would understand me. Right. Um, I thought the treatment was gonna be the same from everybody, but being white and Japanese and being black and Japanese different because they think you know white people are more like pretty and like you know they're type they're stereotypical American yay you know but when it's black and Japanese like oh rowdy da 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 oh. they're not really fond of it so it's like you get a different you know oh the hip-hop basketball <laughs> that oh. vibe <laughs> not the like oh you're American you're pretty yay you know it's a, oh. you're athletic come on show me what you got <laughs> Now you went to Japanese public school mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. quite a while. Did you ever have any issues with bullying or people making you feel weird or like standing out? All the time. Really? Oh. Your sister Katie told me like she'd come in with her natural hair and this mm -hmm. is how she naturally is. And the teacher's telling her, hey, you can't wear your hair that way, get it straightened. And she's mm -hmm. like, wait, I'm supposed to come as I am. If I get it straightened, that's doing my hair. You said, don't do your hair. And she had an argument with the teacher yeah, about that. <laughs> so you also have, you have beautiful curly hair. Did anyone ever tell you off or did Katie get that straight? You know, and the teachers backed off after that. Katie has like more thicker curls. It's like mm -hmm. more stronger. So no matter how many times she did her hair, it would just go back to normal. <laughs> Mine is a little bit more thin, so I could kind of, you know, keep it that way mm -hmm. more than my sister. So I would just, I was like, I'm just gonna go with the rules because I'm not trying to hear nothing else <laughs> and I made it like super straight with Bob and I was like wow ah. so you actually did I mean you were conforming to everyone having straight hair but you did exactly the opposite like they say come as you are and you had to change how mm -hmm. you are to not get told off 
yeah, it was like less stress mm -hmm. to me. I was like, I just want to avoid it. I don't want more, you know, attention in right. a bad way. <laughs> now you live in a very remote area of Japan in the mm -hmm. countryside. Do you ever feel like people are looking at you or making you kind of uncomfortable? Do you, do you feel All that way? All the time. All the time. It's more, more mm -hmm. like... I can let it go if it's kids because they're more like interested. I can understand that, but when it's like older people, I know it's a different type of vibe. They're looking at me in a different way where it's more like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't mess with you. So it's oh, like, really? <laughs> they, you think they're like a little scared or something? Not scared. It's more so like they can't grasp the concept again mm -hmm. of where I stand with them. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm half Japanese. They can tell I'm half. So they're like, you know, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to do with you either. <laughs> when you went to America, though, did people believe that you are Japanese? Uh, no. No? Um, they thought I was like Samoan or Filipino. Okay. Um... I took it. I was like, okay, I still look different. You know, I'm not just, I guess I'm just not black anymore. And that's fine with me. I feel a lot better. It's not that much pressure, you know? Because mm. you, you feel like you have to be what people expect you to be. Yeah, and I can't yeah. be Japanese, even though I feel like it. It's like, mm -hmm. I can't fit in nowhere. But unless people accept me, which is a handful of people, and mm -hmm. I don't, don't know what to do with that. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's a really tough one in America and over here. Okay, well, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. And uh, I know you don't do much, much on social media, so go to support her sister's Instagram. Katie is an amazing dancer. She's got a lot of good stuff. And one day I want to interview you two together, like in Tokyo. <laughs> I, I will get you over there. We'll, have, we'll make this happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. If she's up for it, we should totally do that. And please subscribe to my channel. I know I interview a lot of interesting people. So make sure you subscribe too because I have more videos just like this. And, and get her sister and her together. We'll have a family, family reunion in Tokyo. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye from Aomori. <laughs> it's freaking cold. <laughs> If you haven't yet seen the amazing collaboration I did with Aaliyah's sister, Katie, you can check that out here. And if you want to see a collaboration with the three of us here in Tokyo, please send a super chat to my YouTube channel and support my channel on Patreon, and that will help cover the fees for transportation. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Please enjoy some more interviews.